What's going on my friends? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking to the Xbox community. I'm an Xbox One gamer. I enjoy playing games on my Xbox One. I'm also a PlayStation 4 gamer. And I want to bring you guys news on a very, very popular, incredible game that's actually available in the demo form on the Xbox One. Resident Evil 7 is now available to download and play on your Xbox One. So if you've been waiting to play this game, I implore you to download it right now. It's incredible, very fun. I think this is going to really turn the uh, Resident Evil community on its head. I'm loving it. I think it's really amazing. I can't believe what Capcom has kind of done with this reboot, taking Resident Evil in a completely new direction. I don't know how to describe it. It's really hard to describe what's happening inside this house, this old dilapidated house with this insane redneck family that appears to be superhuman in some kind of way, that they don't feel pain, but they inflict tons of pain upon people. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 4, Los Plagas. They're just a really messed up group of people. I don't know exactly how zombies are going to come into play in this new Resident Evil game, but it's really an awesome game. So if you're on Xbox, definitely download it now. I'll drop a link in the description. Public service announcement, Resident Evil 7 demo out now on Xbox One. Horrifyingly good news for Xbox One users. PS4 users have had access to it for a while already, and now Xbox One users can jump right in. The Resident Evil 7 beginning hour demo launched this week on Microsoft's console, giving a suite of new users the opportunity to try out the horror game. The free Xbox One demo comes in at 3.6 gigabytes. You can download it to your Xbox console right now or queue it up at xbox.com. Here's the demo's official description, quote, You wake up alone on the floor of an abandoned farmhouse. Daylight is quickly fading. You must find a way out. A thrillingly immersive horror experience for the five senses. This full model change to the frightening, quote, isolated view, end quote, player perspective, and photorealistic graphics of the cutting edge RE engine mark a new beginning for survival horror. Enter a terrifyingly new world of horror and survive. The demo comes to PC on December 19th. In other Resident Evil 7 news, Capcom said this week that it hopes the game will sell 4 million copies on its first day. Resident Evil 7 launches on January 24th, 2017 for all platforms. That's just a few days before the new movie, blah, Resident Evil, the final chapter comes out in theaters on January 27th. Uh, this is really good news. Let me just say this, okay? Resident Evil 7, I can only speak right now about the VR. I know Xbox One is not going to have Resident Evil 7 VR yet. Caveat there yet. I think Microsoft is kind of holding their guns. This game has been developed to work with VR. We know that the Xbox Scorpio will support VR. So with that in mind, I think that Xbox will have VR with their Resident Evil 7 game at some point in the future. I do believe that. But I'm just speaking about this game in general. The atmosphere is really incredible. Uh, I played this whole demo in VR. Scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, it was really, really frightening. You feel like you're really there. You're able to move around like you do in a traditional first-person game with the controller and look around with your head, and it all made sense and worked really, really well. I think Capcom is, I think Capcom has done a brilliant thing with Resident Evil 7. I think the game is going to sell phenomenally well on day one. And if you have an Xbox One, download it now and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel by clicking on the support link at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.